Let's suppose that you live on a farm. Everywhere you go, there are interesting things to see. And many of them are moving. They may be going up, coming down, turning round, moving along, or stopping. But what's this? Can something move by itself? No, of course not, unless it's alive. Things only move because something makes them move. What makes them move? Here are two ways. With a push or a pull. Whenever anything is moved, it is made to move by a force. A push force or a pull force. Whenever you lift something, you are using forces. Pull forces and push forces. Pull forces and push forces. Things do not move until they are made to move by a force. Once they are moving, they will go on moving until they are stopped by another force. A push force could lift you into this motor lorry. Suppose you stand towards the front. Have you noticed how you are thrown backwards when the lorry starts? And forwards when it stops? Why is this? Let's look again in slow motion. When the lorry starts moving, your body tries to stay where it is. When it stops, your body tries to keep on moving just like that rolling barrel. Heavy things are hard to lift. Lighter things are easier. The earth is pulling them down. We call this gravity. Gravity makes things fall. Every time you weigh something, you are finding out how much gravity is pulling on it. Gravity pulls more on heavy things than it does on light things. But there is something else which makes it hard to move things. When something rubs against something else, it is harder to move. This rubbing is called friction. Friction always tries to slow down movement. One rough surface sliding or rubbing against another makes things hard to move. It also wears away the surface, like the soles of these shoes and the tread of these tires. Why does this saw become blunt after a time? but friction is useful too. Without it, a saddle would be so slippery you could not stay in it. Your pony's hoofs would not grip the ground, nor would car or tractor wheels. Pulley belts would not turn wheels. When friction makes things harder to move, what can we do to help? We can roll them, or we can use wheels. 
It takes much less force to move things when wheels are used. Things that roll can be moved more easily than things which do not roll. There is much more friction when things slide or rub than there is when wheels are used. Here is a way to show how much easier it is to move things with wheels. This is a spring scale. When you pull on it, you can see how much force you are using. Use it to pull a heavy basket along the ground, and you can see how much force you are using then. Put the basket on some wheels, and now see what happens. Wheels do make a difference. You can feel the difference. You can see the difference. You are using less force. There are many ways of making forces. What kind of force have we here? Or here? These are forces made by muscles. But the force here is made by an engine. What makes the force in this smaller engine? Electricity. What kind of force is this? The force of moving air. What is the force that moves the paddles on this water wheel? It is the force of moving water. Let us think of the things worth remembering. To move something, a force is necessary, a push force or a pull force. Things stay where they are until a force moves them. But once they are moving, they keep on moving until another force stops them. The heavier something is, the harder it is to move it upwards. This is because gravity, the force of the earth, is pulling it down. Friction, rubbing together, also makes it hard to move things. Wheels overcome friction. Forces may be made in many ways. Muscles, engines, electricity, wind, running water, all produce forces which push or pull. Everywhere you go, there are interesting things to see, and many of them are moving.